Welcome everyone to an arena video. This is Andrea Mangucci and this video is sponsored to you by channelfarball.com and Ultimate Guard. I want to talk about virus and and ban lists. Okay chat, the rules have been updated. Although mm. see this is perfectly average. Do you guys know what math is? One game you flood, the game after you screw, and that balances for all the games that you draw perfect mana. Okay? Alright, keep six. Big boar, you go. Alright, Temple of Malice. Oh, Temple of Mystery? I didn't, I didn't think this was allowed. I think you can only play Red Black Lands. And, ooh, oh. To liar an MTG, the boar hat is very itchy. I don't I don't like to wear it all the time. Thought erasure. Better be screwed and flood? I don't think so. I don't think so. I prefer being flooded with a deck like this. Because you just have like the top deck. This deck is basically like you just ramp up and then you just fold your hands and hope. Ooh, if a guest. Oh, put a sling soul tie, I love it. Let's go, Lifkin. Next one, if you draw land, they can go Ura Lifkin. This end is, is solid. The return of the Reason Reef, Metal Love Man. Indeed, indeed. The Reason Reef is back. It's back to be boarded out every game so far, but. Hello, am I going for Uro into Dryad? Or am I going for just Lift King Droid? I think I'm gonna go Uro into Dryad. Right? I think so. That just, yeah. I don't know how many outs I have. I have like 24 draws that make me play Lift King here. Sultai beats Blue, Blue White and Dream Trawler. If you check my videos on YouTube channel where I play against the. Uh, Blue White a lot of time. I've never lost to Blue White with Sultai. I believe it's a very positive matchup. You beat Dream Trawler by grinding them with a Crazes or with a or with a Polukranos. Echo Lali, Castle Ventress, perfect. Okay, yeah. That's good. I think it was fine to just kind of gamble on it. Also because it's not a next turn I definitely need to ram. If I had a Cavalier of, Thor of Thorns, I would have probably played Leaf King Druid, but I don't. Okay, Tarascorn is good. Really? I'm playing against the, the French caster? That's cool, that's cool. Allora. So, I can play a Reason Reef, or I can just wait for one more mana so that I can cast... Uh, so that I can cast uh, Growth Spiral or another Uro if I draw it. Hello, Bird. And I just wait, and I just wait for a seventh mana to cast finale. Now I also have agent, which is kind of clunky. It's kind of clunky. I mean, this deck is obviously like not a very, not a very snello deck. You got a deck this for Sultai Mangu. I don't personally, but if you go to my Twitter, I retweeted the top four player of MTG Lyon. In uh, MTG Lyon, uh, Sultai made the top four. Okay, let's play Finale for Cavalier. And now, after that, I'll probably be winning because they have wars in my bin and blah, 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 blah. Mango Maniac. Uh, I don't really rank decks these days. I just play whatever. Simic Clover was a good deck. Today I play another one. I can't really play the same deck over and over. Um, if I was going to play a deck, I would play Sultab, but I played that last week all time. So it's all good here. Ooh, they play Narset. Interesting. I've never seen Narset before. Okay, they did the classic Narset Brick because that deck plays mono creatures. What next? Actually, what if I steal the Narset? <laughs> that would be fine. I'm just gonna attack Narset first. And then we'll see what's going to happen. Did I just go Tyrant's Corn? We're back to best of three. Yes, yes, we are. We are. Because I don't know, I saw this list and something, something sparked. And I was like, I want to play that deck. 
the, 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 the spark got ignited. All right, all right. No. Oh, return? Oh, wow. Okay, what do we do? Because if I go Agent on the Narsa, they just attack it. So that's not a very smart play. If I go Ura Dondra card. Hmm. So if I cast Cavalier, uh, there's no way I can cast another Cavalier. Yeah, I know, I know what Tyrant's Court does. I was just, it was just a weird play, because, I don't know, my opponent could have blocked the, the Tyrant's Court and bounced their crazies, for example, that felt like maybe a better play. I don't know, it's just it's just a strange play, you know, bouncing the Cavalier. Agent of Crazies is not a good play, I, I don't think. If they just play a larger crazy, I mean, a 4 4 Crazies is not, is not a threat. Uh, I think I'm going to play a Cavalier of Thorn. And then maybe just play Uro without drawing a card. Right? I think I'm doing that, yes. It's gonna, it's gonna play Uro here. It's not great to play Uro in the face of an R set. Indeed, indeed it isn't. But I think it's okay. It's just a threat. Next turn, I can attack better. All right. Well, they hit off Narset. They do. All right. It's a thought erasure. That's a good hit because my my hand is very strong. So that's no wrath. So I'm good. Uh, you never know what Sultai. I mean, Sultai is like Sultai can be like hundred cards deck. So like they can literally put whatever they want in their deck. So you never know. I could go like. I really don't know. I could go reach out. So no, that's probably not good. All right, it cast a new row from the bin. Mm -hmm. See, now my opponent is not in a bad shape. I for, for sure probably stole the Narset there. Ah, right, Caputana. Losing this game, that, that, that sucks. That sucks. All right. What do I want to draw? Uh, Braiding Pool. I don't want to scry my upkeep in a spot like that. All right, so if I attack Narsa with both, I don't trigger the Uro, which is bad. All right, now, yeah, I'm definitely gonna attack it with both. Yeah, casualties, indeed. Oh, wow, they let the Narsa die. And that's, uh, that's reasonable, right? I have 10 cards in my bin. I'm gonna reanimate Uro, draw a card. So they have a blocker for their Uros, yes, because they can't reanimate it yet. This means that I cannot scry, maybe I'm gonna scry my upkeep. Alright, they attack me. They have four cards in the graveyard right now. Am I going to block? I think, I'm, I, think I am, yes. I think I am. I think I am blocking. Let's see, they need another card in the graveyard. To be able to reanimate the Uro. They don't find it. If I encounter for eight, that's good. All right, do I want to scry? Because if I scry, I can't cast Uro. I don't think I want to scry. That's just raw. Reason Reef. Okay, if I want to play Uro first. It's probably better than playing Reason Reef, isn't it? No, it's not. Yeah, no, it's not. Let's just go Reason Reef. I have to examine my whole graveyard, though. I don't want to do that. So if I attack with the Cavalier of Thor, it just doesn't make any sense to attack with the Cavalier of Thor. Because this way, with the finale in the graveyard, my opponent can't really attack. I just pass here. Because if they attack, I just put it on top of Final of Devastation. Yeah, Scry instead. Yeah. 
I will scry instead indeed. Five cards, and they can't have a counter. They can go casualties of war, but I mean, this is kind of an abyss. No, sorry, a moat. Not even a moat. All right. Like, they can't attack nor kill this Cavalier. Looking for the other finale? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna take these two cards. And we're in the graveyard is better than a random card. Actually, they can maybe play around my... They can maybe play around my... Finale? Nah, no, it's very hard. It's very, very hard. Uno, tre, sette, eleven. Mm. Alright, let's play Cavalier to begin. I only stream Arena. Okay, yeah. There are still Finales in the deck. Safe. Scry, it's good, because I can draw it immediately. That one does, thanks. I'll reanimate Uro. I'll exile that, 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 that. And uh, whatever, this. I kind of want to draw, I mean, yeah, it's fine. I want to play this. Hmm, maybe I don't want to play this. Yeah, I guess I'll play this and scry and upkeep. Or I'll pass again. Or maybe attack. Maybe, maybe I should attack with a cavalier. Shouldn't I? Maybe attack should I? Should I attack with a cavalier? Wow, second Narset. Ah, that's annoying. All right, miss, miss, miss. Okay, the shaker, the war shaker has been taken. I should maybe attack with a cavalier. I mean, now no, because they, mm, they would have just chum blocked probably. Or take five. Or taken five. Oh wow, chat. Oh wow. They have ether guess, maybe. I mean what about what else am I supposed to do? I'll just I'll just block here. No, am I not blocking here? I'm blocking. It's problematic because maybe I don't have enough creatures to to kill my opponent with. With a with a finale, say dieci dodici. I think I still have him a lot. Oh, okay, this sucks. All right, let's block like this. I'm not gonna block the Uro because I don't want to lose my Uro because it could be. Okay, okay, this could be the time where things things happen. Finale goes on top. What's their plan here? What's their plan here? Do they have Ether Guest? Yeah, I could have double blocked two or take two more damage. Yeah, 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 yeah. I should have done that, Captain Grey, Grey Black. Field of Ruin? No, okay, they can't do Field of Ruin. Tamiya? Uh huh. They must have Ether Guest. They must have Ether Guest. Charlie Gag! Hello, wow, they name either guess. Charlie Gag, hello, 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 Charlie Gag. Good morning, everybody, from your stream. We're playing some Simic Ramp with Final Devastation on top of our deck, so you think you, you guys came at the right time. Opponents could be blasting the Ether Gust there with the Tamiya post combat. That's weird, though. If you want to get if you want to get a plan, you need to you need to get your plan above it beforehand, right? Growth Spiral. Are they desperate or do they or they're bluffing? Do they just lose? Do they just lose your chat? All right, all right. Don't concede. Don't concede. Don't concede, French caster, because my boar hat is ready. I. My boar hat is ready. Echoqua, echoqua. All attack. Jay Abelard, you go. <laughs> don't draw a card, that's fine. <laughs> yes, they don't attack, they take the damage. <laughs> we finally did it. We finally did it. After two days, 
Someone took the damage off of our Andres Forerunner. Ah. It feels nice. It feels it feels good. It feels good, chat. It feels good. Also, the reason why I'm playing best of three is that I would not be able to play this deck in best of one as Mono Red isn't a very good matchup. Congratulations, indeed. <laughs> All right, now against uh, against that deck, do we just run it back? Cause like this this deck is supposed to beat on that one, right? I guess we got one dispute over one Hydra. Uh, I guess Ether Guest over Hydra. Maybe Ether Guest is just very good, but like everything else is also very good, right? Isn't it? Yeah, I got a Uro because uh, the game goes long and I draw Uro. Ah, <sighs> where'd you find this boar hat? It was a present from Alfred. Alfred one nine nine one for my birthday. Might be one of those, uh, you know. Children, children, uh, children toy, children toy stores. In fact, the boar hat is very tight. It's just for children. It's like, it's for children's head. So it's very tight. It's also itchy. It, it basically got it all, but the most important thing is that it serves the purpose of being a boar hat at the, at the time, whenever you attack with a boar. Thought Erasure. This end is perfect for Thought Erasure because it's basically the whole, it's like every card is the same. Ether Cast and Crazy are the only two different ones. Like if opponent takes any of this, it's not a problem. If opponent takes Leaf King Druid, it's whatever. Take a Crazy, that's reasonable. I gotta hope they don't have Narset. Wow, Narset is a big deal. Also, like this card spell is just totally worthless because the opponent just draws the same card all the time. Like the reason why I'm not playing Thought Erasure, like the reason why I might switch. From Soul Tide to Band is that because discard spells are just inefficient on Arena. Because if you discard a card, opponent just draws the same. It's actually not an Arena only, it's just on everything. Like yesterday, I played Paper. I was playing my Just Kept Reaching Modern. My opponent was playing Shadow. They, they, they played two times Thoughtseize, and I just immediately drew the same card for the first turn of this tournament. Opponent did get a hit. Two little orphans. Opponent did get a hit. They took it. They took it. They are indeed a champ. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna pass with an ether guest up, right? The reason why we don't play growth spiral the first turn is that this card ramps up more mana. So if I have, if I was drawing like, let's say a reason reef. Like, the thing is that this card ramps as mana regardless. Now, now I draw a forest, right? But if I... Mm, this is results, I think. All right. They thought they thought distorted me. The another crazes. That's fine. How do this crying graveyard? Pass. Let's go growth spiral. Reason reef. Okay. I'm, I'm mana scared of blue right now. Doesn't really do it. Let's check the top first. Because if it's an island, I don't want that. I could have gone Growth Spiral first and then Reason Reef. Right, just cast this. If they go Casualties, it's not a big deal. They'll kill our creature and the land. It's it's not bad. If they go Ether Gas, I think I'm going to leave it on top. Because, I mean, it's, it's a spell. My hand it's not good. So, yeah, take action. Like, Ether Gas in this spot is not a good card. You just, you know, trading, trading like this is not good, I think. Oh, crazy for an even number, chat. Let's go, Reason Reef. You link the picture. Okay, Matthew, I'll, I'll check it out eventually. All right, pass. Go Spiral, EOT with the Gust. With the Gust up in case they go crazy and cast a Nisa. Or cast a... I don't know, okay, they cast, that's awful. Destroy target creature. Mm, Ether casting or if Reason Reef is not a very good play, so let's just not do that. Take three, I got to 17. My turn. Okay, let's cast Gord Sparrow. 
another ether guest. Am I going to bottom this? I think I am, because I kind of want to draw land here. Oh, wow, the Gogor is part of their own. Sure. They have one card in end. Hmm. Kind of want to draw Crazes. Broccoli land, okay. I think I am just slamming an agent of treachery here. It's not great, but I don't know. Both of us are kind of low in the, uh, having very low resources, so just attacking for five could be relevant. Also, my opponent plays Tamio and Narset, so I really want to have a board presence against a Planeswalker heavy build like that. Tamio and Narset in the main deck is definitely Arakaboya. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm, that's bad news. That's bad news. I wish this was mine. Eva Bine. Broccoli land goes on the bottom. And I'll pause the turn. I have a lot of mana. If I draw an X spell, it's gonna be great. Ayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayay
Good game. Good game, Valmafra. Good game. Good game, French gentleman. Okay, child. We're, we're game back. We're coming back. We are coming back. It took an hour, but we, we did it. The Thassa Agent of Treachery combo has been achieved. Go to the bathroom, chat. I'll be back in one minute, okay? We'll, be play, we'll play more of this wonderful deck. Of the Simic Boar Hat. I also have downloaded uh, the Soul Titan Mate Top 4. Maybe we'll play it later, okay, chat? I'll be back in one minute. I, I don't know. I don't know if you guys were there, but last... No. What was, when was that year? Oh, two years ago. Two summers ago, me and Matthew Folks were in this room and, and he was streaming from his channel and I was with him and there was no Magic Arena back then. Oh wow, Castle Octway, just casual taking five. All right. And the, uh, and the, uh, and the, uh, the Nico. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That is funny. All right, I'll keep on saying the story after acknowledging that opponent just registered the mirror and can see it to my one play in the game. It's like if we basically played like escape shift it, with the game ended one one car combo. What a funny game for us, not 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 for opponent, I think. So yeah, me and Matt just broke M M nineteen with uh, like Grexus with Nicol Bolas, and then we bought it out. And then the day after, we played Black White with Ajani, and we bought it out. And they spiked, and I never sold them. So I lost a lot of money because that's how I do it. Anytime I try to, anytime I try to make money out of just buying cards, I I always get screwed because I don't know where to sell. And and that was it. And that was it. It's basically what it is. I, I don't think I've ever made them any money buying and selling magic cards. Alright, opponent goes first. This end could be anything. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna keep this hand. I'm gonna keep this hand. I'm gonna keep it. Two Temple of Mystery. The Temple of Mystery is like if I have like, you know, just this literal like anything. Oh okay, which is open. It's been a while I've I haven't played against that deck. And by a while I mean I don't know, 10 minutes. Ooh, two swamps. Ah, agonizing remorse. Girl Spiral. I call that E. Slightly late, but I'll still appreciate it. Oh, wow. Opponent is on the old strategy, looks like. Simic Avengers Field Tier 1. Yeah, it was a fine deck. Opponent is playing a known strategy chat. It's the first time ever that someone is playing a rock fan lurker against me in the last month. I'm going to play a island. Yeah, right. Actually, I just play Grospiro first. Because I could draw a Leaf King Druid. Oh, wow, I do that. That's so smart. How does it feel to be so smart, chat? How? Just tell me. Just something because I don't really, I can't really acknowledge right now the large brain plays that this was. I wouldn't know, yeah, right? Because I, I just assume that chat is always 100% right on everything, so I, 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 I thought you guys knew how, how does it feel to be this smart. How does it feel to tap mana every time wrong, out to tap, bro? How, how does it? All right, let's play craziest for an even number. You are predicting every card guy, it's true, right? I mean, what all the my, my, my turn four opponents are pretty stock. They always go turn four, castle lock and activation. It's not bad. Mood the host raider kills I draw a crazes. And boom, one damage. Take that. Take that one damage, says my opponent. Alright, let's get him bring it up. Let's Garen, bring it up. Results. I longed. Do I want to cast mini crazes? I think so, Array. I think so. Still have a lot of plays next turn, and I can just uh, manually, see manually, I can just uh, R cast the big boar, or just draw second crazes. That was also an option. 
Uh, Fomi007, that's an unexpected question. I, I wouldn't know where to start answering that. Oh, I think it's a sad moment when you discard your boar. Actually, you can probably leave. I'm just gonna discard Finale. Finally off Soul Tie? Nah, ne never, never. You never, you never, you're never go off Soul Tie. You just, how does it work? I'm just, just asking again. How does it work? Do you just, is a, is a, like, you always discard a card and the client gives you this, the card? Like, why bother playing this for spell chat? Th this stream so far has been a lesson that you shouldn't play this for spell in Magic. You should always playing, like, I don't know, your cards. Just don't bother discarding your opponent cards. All right. Do I win? Do I win, chat? Is it lethal? Do I have to count? I hate counting. I have 5, 7, 14, plus 6, 20. They have 5, 2, 7. No, they don't die. All right, but they're basically, like, you know. They don't die, but they smell of death. Okay, chat? Opponent smells of a death. Puzza di morto. Yeah, I have five again too, so it's like if they have seven. Raging Bull MTG, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Pal, pal is a good, good word. Oh, I didn't block it all? Alright, I just want to go exactly on zero. I like it, I like it. That's dedication. That's very much dedication. Uh, no, I see that emoji. I don't know who that is. Nomadsa. Nomdasks. Alright, let's go with Voracious Hydra. Uh, what about Questing Beast? I think I'm gonna bring in Questing Beast. What about Low Strike Beast? I think I'm gonna bring in Low Strike Beast. What about just boarding out the combo? I think I'm gonna board out the combo. What about same board? What about every time? It's probably not very funny. Um, mm, what do you guys think about this deck? It's probably pretty bad. It's probably one of the worst deck I've ever seen. It is, right? I think it's probably one of the worst deck I've ever seen, too. Maybe I could, maybe I can cut a land. Yeah, I could probably cut a land. Whatever, let's try this. What's the record right now? Uh, I think we are up one or two, but I've not played against Mono Red, which is definitely a good thing. I played against some Red Black Sacrifice, which uh, looks like maybe it's slightly a negative matchup. I put him not playing Red Black Sacrifice, it's just playing a strategy that I wouldn't recommend. Yeah, Rock for Lurker strategy. You have playing Simic, yeah, it's it's my favorite decks. That's not too hard. Uh, it's just that I saw this deck and I was like, I want to play it, but also I saw, I thought I can't play this deck in best of one because then I would lose to literally any ever ever mono right in the in the in the tournament. So I decided to play some best of three for a change. No attacko. Mina Reaper. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Uh, taking damage is risky. Making my opponent draw a card is also bad. I think I'm not gonna block. And next time I'm just gonna go for Voracious Hydra on the Reaper. It's not great to just play a four mana removal spell, but I think I just, yeah, I think I'm fine with this. Yeah, I mean, this meter Reaper has been insane. It's a three mana three two to kill the thing and draw a card. Yeah, we're not playing Nisa right now. We're not playing Nisa in this ramp deck. Kind of weird, but... Oh, wow, it's the same turn. All right, can I draw a land? Can I draw a land, please? Danke schön! Danke schön. X equal four on this voracious Hydra. Fight that. Boom! Take that Reaper. Let's go reap some something in the graveyard. And pass. Is my German nice? I actually asked my dad how to count in German. Because earlier on the stream, I had, I had trouble counting in German. But now, I know perfectly. It's eins, weins, 
Eins, vier, fünf, sieben, sechs, sieben, acht, neun, 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 dies, dies. Actually, I don't remember how to Nein. I don't remember ten right now on top of my tongue, but I do remember. Looks like I know along that line. All right, let's go, Cavalier. Neun. Perfect. I'm so scared. I'm very skilled. I am. I am like, like. Numbers is one of the things I'm best of. Not just counting, just just seeing the numbers. All right, that resolves. Look at the combo my opponent is doing here. We put something on top. No, we do not. So it's target, and then we say the, and then we have to say the client. That's how it works. Okay, chat. Resolve. If you ever remember spell they have a cavalier, just play in a response to the trigger. So you'll feel very, very smart. And again, feeling smart is the most important thing in the game of MTG. Remember that. Remember that, chat. We all play the game just to feel smart. That's exactly the reason why we play. We feel smart either when we win, we feel smart when our opponent top decks, and we lose, we feel smart when you lose and you think you've played great and you just assume you're unlucky. That's all, there's a lot of options to feel smart for a player. And that's literally the only reason why you would ever pick up a magic card. Okay, guys, what's the best way to feel smart here? I think it's tapping the castle first, and then it's adding this Mount Mana. Los Caballero de la Thorne. And now with any land, you can cast Lotion Beast. Yeah, cool, that's cool. Actually, not any land. The top land don't work. Again? Woo, look at that. All right, but this time around, we're going to put something on top. Okay, chat? Because I, I'm, I'm going to get guaranteed to hit a Fable Passage. All right, so we do put something on top. Which, again, is strange, because you go like, I don't want to put a land on top. But anyway, I want, I want, I want to put a land on top. Now resolve the trigger, and boom, take that Fable Passage. And then we play Love Strike Beast. I keep on getting Island because they've cast a Garen Brig. And I don't think I want to move here. Let's not move. Let's not move. Nobody moves. Yarok van Lurker. Yeah. Why not attack? Eh. I don't think I'm winning the game by attacking for four. And I could lose the game if they. I don't know what can happen. Just remove us by attack for two and I take one damage, you know? Because things can go south. And I don't go that. Uh, let's just draw cards. Castle Garenberg is literally ancient tomb that doesn't lose life. It's pretty broken. It's pretty broken. You have trample. I know I have trample, but I don't lose this game. Okay, chat. I'm not losing. I'm not winning this game by attacking here, I think. I mean, I guess I do. I forgot about Great Merchant. All right. Let's just keep on activating our. Let's keep on activating our. Uh, Aspetta un attimo. Yeah, I don't need I don't need right now that mana, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I just get I just getting some life. I kinda want to get a questing beast. Questing beast would be good here. I have four questing beasts in my deck. Where are they? On the trois Game 3, I got up to 13. Opponent deals me 2, 4, 5, 6, 8. Okay, so we don't die if they have a merchant. Like, the thing is that if you attack last turn, sure, I could have dealt 4 damage. But opponent could have dealt us 1 damage if they had a removal spell. And 1 damage is actually a way I can't I can die this game. Alright, so the opponent attacks with all. They can deal me 1 damage. Although now, I think 6 matters more than 1. Earlier, 4 didn't matter more than 1, I think. Guys, um, am I dying to three merchant? Am I dying to three merchant in a row, chat? Is that the way Mangu will depart from life? Is it that? Is it that? Is it that that way? Could be. I'm gonna leave three mana up, so if I top deck a new row, I can. Uh... All right, so they have six attackers. I'm gonna leave back. 
a bunch of blockers. Attacking here is risky because they can just draw food for maker, but I'm just gonna Yeah, I'm gonna attack with oh. I'll attack with this as well. Because next th this turn I can make three, two creatures. How many blockers I, I will have? I'll have one, two, three, four, five. Alright, yeah, this attack seems okay. Now I need to win next turn. Okay, now I have four block and now I have exactly six blockers next turn. Because I can make three creatures this turn. One, two, three, and then I have three back. Uno, due, tre, quattro. Boom, 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 boom. All right. On creature. Deux creature. Et trois. All right. We have six blockers and they have five attackers. Opponent don't play. No, don't say good game and play merchant. Ah! testa. All right, next game is gonna be fine. Don't worry, don't worry, Chad. We got it. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's why we play game three, right? I'm keeping this. We need. We need. I don't know what we need. I guess a Leaf King Drive would be a good draw. This part of game. Uh, all right. Sounds like a good draw. Sure. Ja, rock van Lurker. Do I want to get a forest here? Probably, right? I mean, eventually this Razor Reef will provide me card advantage. Do you know any check? I don't know any check. I don't even. I'm not even sure how good is questing be. So honestly, it just. I guess it's fine. All right, I'll I'll block. No, I'm not blocking. Caballero, el caballero, el caballero. Suavecito caballero. All right, opponent. Did it go Noxious Grasp? Can you imagine losing last game? It's just so unbelievable. It's just so unbelievable. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll take care. All right, a lot of lands. We got so many lands already. What are we scrying? I want to scry, I don't know, a good spell. That would. I think I'm gonna attack here. I mean, I'm not blocking, so. El Caballero de las Tornas. Okay, that's, that's a great name. That's a great name. Not as good as Caballero de la, de la Llama. Caballero de la Llama is just the best one. Four four. Look at the combo, chat. Look at the combo. Look at the combo. Opponent is just the is just the master of the game. All right, so I have eight mana. So it should, it should be all good. I'm gonna find a land off of this. I have two, I have like six six shots of finding a land to cast a questing beast. Six shots, six shots. You have one shot. No, we have six, not one, we have six, right? And also like this deck is just mono, mono on top land. Like at all these broccoli lands. Hold on, Lord Joe. Come of us. Do I just wanna offer the trade? I think so. Cause this one doesn't trigger off itself, right? Yeah, another one. I'm gonna be pretty broken if it would trigger off of itself. Alright, let's go questing beast and get in. I think Epicure and Guana, uh, the client gives mono black people a better hands. Just so that... I keep cat, such a... Just so they're more likely to, to play mono black. No, Omar. It can't. Mango stream as a command every single deck. This is the command. And this is actually a through sentence. Hello, Arashni. Yeah, it's a whitelist deck. If you play mono black, 
you will get good car good hands all the time. Just because Arena wants to help you play you know, help you play Mono Black all the time. Allora, let's play a broccoli forest. Let's stop for forests. Let's add more mana. Let's kick things off with a reason reef. Trigger trigger. Yes, Scusha, I'm definitely gonna play Historic. I also played some Historic yesterday. I could play some Historic later too. I have a sweet Mono Black deck ready. Take action. Ooh, Voracious Hydra. Okay, Shiat. Let's play Voracious Hydra 4. E... So, 4, 3, 7. I'll play for... 4. I probably have a removal spell. But it's not a big deal. Every, you know... Fight. This isn't a fight you can win. Which Placewalker says that? Which Placewalker says this is not a fight you can win? This isn't a fight you can win, opponent. This is not. Teferi? Oh, my beloved. Teferi 5? Really? Oh, my love. My love, Teferi 5. Oh, my God. I can't. I'm still sad when I think about Teferi 5 not being in standard anymore. Don't you guys feel the same? Don't you guys feel sadness when thinking about... The Fairy 5 not being with us anymore. No? Oh. All that thought. All that thought. Yeah, I got time is the is the is the is the that one. So I never play with sounds on arena, like never ever. I only play with sounds during the during the during the, the invitationals, okay? During the arena tournament, like the big ones. So, and there you have these headphones with a lot of, with the sound be very, very high because you can't listen. Like, you can't listen to the commentators, okay? So there you have this sound super high and they just spam you words. Like, I remember Oko saying, I re because I was playing Oko all the time. There was like this, this tournament, uh, MC5, where I made third place with Oko. I had Oko literally every single game Always on turn two, on turn three. I was just every game I had Loco, so I would keep on listening Oko voice because now Oko never dies, right? Yeah, oh dear. Or the other one was like, I think there's a little merit money in order, which I didn't I still don't know what it actually said. But yeah, so I like the voice of Oko in my mind, like always. And now I think you're just not allowed to listen to Oko voice anymore, right? On Arena? It's just impossible. There's no format on Arena that can you listen. Like, is it legal in Brawl not as a commander, just as a card to draw? Or not even there? I guess it's been there too. But yeah. So sometimes I have this like voice. Orkaboya. The first merchant. <gasps> Chat. Atenti. We have the combo Network Shepherd, Grey Merchant. Opponent non ci provare. Non ci provare. Opponent, don't you dare. Oh my god, chat. Oh my god, chat. Oh my god, chat. No, 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 te prego, te prego, te prego, te prego, te prego. Oh, Uro. Oh, mamma mia, Uro. Oh, Uro, my lord and savior. Do we want this? Because this is not bad, right? The Leaf King Druid is not bad there. Leaf King Druid is not bad because it triggers on my Reason Reef, and I think I don't have much to do with my mana, so I'm gonna draw that. Okay, let's attack first. I'm definitely gonna attack with these two things. Oh no, 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 spetta, 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 mamma mia. Opponent could have. No, no, they couldn't have. They couldn't have exiled this to make me discard a card, so let's just go to combat. I don't have Nisa, so I don't, I don't need to main phase things. Chat them actually. Porca madosca, porca. Am I dying? Am I dying, chat? Oh, I'm so afraid of dying. All right, Castle Garenbrig, Uro. 
No, no, please don't say good game and play another another merchant. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. I want to draw over H's Hydra. Can I cast it though? I probably can't. Alright, I got eight. So that I don't have to do Nightmare Shepard. Alright. I don't know if I should. Uh, play Diff King Druid or Reason Reef. What's my deck list again? What's my deck list again, chat? So if I play Leaf King Druid, I draw two cards. I could draw another Uro. I think it's better. Although I only play two Uro in this list. I think I'm going to give up on the value of playing Reason Reef first. Just because I could draw an Uro. I think it's more important than just drawing more cards. Alright. So we have two draws with this Leaf King Druid. What can they be? Please, opponent, don't even... Grim Merchant in your hand. Please. Please. Alright. Alright, I'll play this and uh Yeah, I'm now hell bent. Our opponent, don't draw a second merchant. Please. Don't draw a second merchant. Don't draw a second merchant. I'm gonna cover my eyes, chat. I'm I'm only reading the chat right now, okay? I'm not gonna watch the game. I'm only reading the chat. What do you say, chat? Am I dead? Am I dead? Also, I removed the glasses, so I, I can't even see the chat. I guess I'm just gonna open my eyes now. Wait, Massacre Girl? No, I bet I. Massacre girl. Baba me magica su sedi. I'm fine here. I'm fine here. I look I look as fine as ever. Ooh. Ah, I'm so glad. I'm so glad I'm not dead. Ooh. Do they have any token? Do, do they have any creature? Oh, Nightmare Shepherd? No, they're not gonna exile the cat to have a token. Yeah, we're on two life, but we're gonna game three with the Uro. Yeah, no, I mean, this game we are, uh, we're fresh as a flower. We're fresh as a flower, chat. They even tapped the oven. I mean, it's not that they could have done much else. Anyway, let's get a land. The land will fight for us. Ancient Tomb gets activated. Let's play Mr. Uro. On the Trois, Quatre, Cinq. Menace BTW. We have Voracious Hydra to kill the girl. We got a six. Results. Ooh, another Uro. That's perfect. Because I really want to gain some life here. I'll play Voracious Hydra for, yeah, four is fine. Let's fight. I just want to keep their, I just want to keep their devotion very low. Very, very low. Boom. Okay. Uh, I just, I just play in the world. I really, I really, yeah. I just want to gain life. I don't think I can ever lose this game if you play a fair fight. The only way I can ever lose this matchup is with, uh, Grim Merchant of Asphodel. Hello, Bacon Owl. Everything died, but I'm, I'm super good. Yeah, I mean, I had so many resources. I have 20 cards in my deck, but it doesn't matter. I think we're good, guys. I think we're good. Boom! Yeah, I mean, I don't mind not playing Nisa, honestly. I haven't, I haven't been missing Nisa. And I really like every other card that's in the deck right now.